As promised in today's video, we're going into greater detail on the topic of hydrogen bonding. So remember that hydrogen bonding is a type of intermolecular force. So it occurs between molecules. And in order for it to take place, you need obviously hydrogen and a highly electronegative element. And we need to be really specific here. Those elements we're talking about are fluorine, nitrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen bonding needs one of these elements to be present. <clears throat> what does the term electronegative mean? Well, if an element is highly electronegative, the atom has a tendency to attract a shared pair of electrons towards itself. So it becomes electron rich. So really, we're going to now write a nice little paragraph about what hydrogen bonding is. So I've effectively said it, but we're going to write it out nicely so you have good notes on the topic. So we're going to write a description of hydrogen bonding. So it occurs when hydrogen is bonded directly to a small, highly electronegative element. Remember that element has to be either nitrogen, oxygen or fluorine. We know that highly electronegative elements have a tendency to attract shared pairs of electrons. So let's write that now. The electron pair is drawn away from the hydrogen by the electronegative element. And what that means is that you leave behind a proton in the nucleus with no inner electrons because those those electrons have been drawn away. Um, the reason we say a proton in the nucleus, be clear, remember that hydrogen only has one electron and really one proton. You can check this in the periodic table. Remember, it has an atomic number of one, which tells you that it has only one proton and one electron. So as that oxygen or nitrogen or indeed fluorine draws away that single electron, obviously all you're going to be left with is a single proton. What happens next is that proton attracts the non-bonding pair of electrons from the fluorine, nitrogen, oxygen, and this results in a much stronger dipole-dipole attraction. So I'm going to show you a little picture to represent water's hydrogen bonding. So remember the oxygen has drawn away the electrons from hydrogen, so it becomes slightly negative because remember electrons are negatively charged. That hydrogen is now deficient in electrons, so it's slightly positive, and therefore you end up with hydrogen bonding forming because opposites attract. So the slightly positive hydrogen is attracted to the slightly negative oxygen. And this hydrogen bonding explains why water's boiling point is so much higher than other molecules. So water's boiling point is obviously 100 degrees Celsius. If we take methane, CH4, has a ridiculously low boiling point of a minus 162 degrees Celsius. And the reason for this, the reason why water is a liquid at room temperature, whereas methane is obviously a gas, is due to the fact that hydrogen bonding in water is much stronger than the London forces found in methane. And I'll talk about London forces in the next video.